What's going on everybody? Corey with Corey's Computer Repair. I wanted to make this video to hopefully help out some of you out there who probably experienced a problem like this and just like me have been pulling out my hair trying to figure out a solution. So micro lag, lagging, freezing on a custom computer. Oh, I had tried everything. So let me, let me just give you a backstory. This is a custom gaming computer I built for my girlfriend. It has a Asus ROG Strix B450 F Gaming 2 motherboard in it. It has Team Group DDR4 16 gigs of memory that is fully compatible with the board. It is on the supported list. It has a Ryzen 5 uh, 2600X, I believe it is, processor. It has a MSI 1650 Super Graphics card. And all she does is play a game called Township. It is a farming game you can get through the Microsoft Store. It is much like Farmville 2 or 3, whatever's out now. Um, you build houses and town and you build, you farm stuff and it's a very casual game. Well, lately she's been telling me that the game has been lagging. Like right now they have snowflakes falling and you would just kind of see snowflakes going and like that it would just be this lag so I thought it was something with the game I exited the game and then I was like let me try a YouTube video so I tried a YouTube video and YouTube videos would just be like start talking and like this it'd be like hey how you it's like like it just froze and half the computer froze up so I thought graphics card drivers I tried six to eight different revisions of graphics card drivers completely uninstalling the graphics card with I believe it's DDU to uninstall a graphics card completely and all the drivers reinstalling it I tried a different graphics card a spare same problem uh, I tried a different power supply same problem uh, I was I mean I had God I had done so much I went into the BIOS I thought the memory timings were off that didn't change it I swapped RAM still no change I had done so much and I was scratching my head and then I thought you know I'm gonna think of the simplest thing I thought okay I'm gonna bust out my trusty Hyrene's boot CD on my little USB thumb drive I'm gonna boot up a secondary operating system which runs on the thumb drive that's gonna eliminate all drivers software and everything I'm gonna enable networking I'm gonna go to YouTube I'm gonna play that same video and see what I get on this same system no changes so stuttering happened in Windows I'm gonna boot up this and see what I get and for those for reference Hyrene's is using I think it's PE 10 which is technically I believe Windows 10 so I booted it up went to YouTube played the video smooth as heck no issues nothing I was like okay oh and I should mention I had already upgraded the BIOS firmware to include the FTPM uh, fix for the CPU. You know, this, the, the most current revision, I think it was like 4901 is the version, and it said fixes the stuttering that's caused by the Ryzen CPUs, known issue, known fix. Her computer was already current. That was not the issue at all. I had tried memory timings, I went on forums, there was like a bunch of settings to, ch to check. Oh, try this, take off XMP profiles, do this, do that, do this, nothing worked. So I went into task manager and I was looking at things running and I noticed Asus had a bunch of stuff running, right? So then I actually went into start and MS config. And I know that's the old school of all startup items. People are saying all oh, startup items are under task manager now. Yes, but services are still listed under MS config. I'm talking about the basic services, not services.msc where you can run the main full list of services. Uh, so I went into MS config and this, the services tab and I clicked the little checkbox to hide all Microsoft services. And then what I saw was probably like 15 to 20 different services that start up with Windows via Armory Crate. The Asus Armory Crate program that has the Aurora Sync, it has the updates, 
It's their all-in-one program to keep the computer current. So what I did as a test, first went to YouTube a second time with the system fully booted up normally and tried to run a video and it completely almost froze the computer. It kept stuttering, I mean to point where I couldn't, the mouse would not move left or right smoothly. It was like, and it would freeze 20 seconds and all of a sudden it would jump. The computer was almost useless. I closed out of Edge, went in to uninstall Armory Crate, rebooted the computer, checked back with services, all of those ASUS services for Armory Crate were gone. Went back to YouTube, tried the same video, smooth, no problems, nothing. Went back to Township, loaded it, loaded like this, the snowflakes, they weren't, they were smooth. There was no choppiness, no lag, nothing. So I don't know who this is gonna help, but I'm hoping this helps somebody. I can't explain why uninstalling Armory Crate fixed the issue, but I suggest if you have an Asus motherboard and the Armory Crate update program installed, try uninstalling it. For me, it was software related. I so thought this was a hardware issue with memory timings or the TPM lag. Oh, I should mention also, prior to the fix, I did try to change the FTPM to DTPM, which is from firmware to discrete TPM. I tried that and booted up, no change. So I hope this helps somebody. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna feel good if it helps at least one person because I spent two days trying to fix this computer. <laughs> three days now and I checked in on my girlfriend and she said everything is running smooth, no more issues, and it is so nice. So once again, Corey for Corey's Computer Repair, let me know if it works for you.